Hey everybody, it's Ben here. I just got back from taking this 1998 Ford Ranger EV out for a spin. I was hoping that that would warm up the battery pack. Uh, it's cold outside, it's right around freezing, and this is using lead acid batteries, which are kind of notoriously susceptible to not performing as well in the cold. In fact, this truck, the batteries are in the bed rather than underneath in a box, which is how they originally would have been. So I, I have a feeling here that the batteries aren't gonna be warmed up too much. So let's grab the thermal camera, take a look, see what the batteries are doing. And before we finish up, let's take a look at the motor and the motor controller as well. Um, I just got back from a 12 mile trip in the Ford Ranger EV, and we can see that the connections on the batteries are warmer than uh, the batteries themselves. Kind of, kind of cool to see. Um, if I put my hand just flat in the middle of one of these batteries, it feels relatively cold. Um, it's winter now, although it was really nice. It was sunny today. It got up up above freezing. There's a nice handprint. Um, but I can clearly see that, um, like where the battery cables are, is warmer than everything else. I'll feel this one. I mean, that's, it's not warm. Um, I mean, all this is, is really pretty relative. I mean, if we look right in the middle, that battery is basically at freezing. Um, and that battery cable, it's really not especially warm. It's really only a little warmer. Or even if I touch any of these terminals, mm, right there I can feel it's a little warmer. Yeah, although on the thermal image, you can definitely tell where the current was flowing. Um, the actual differences in temperature it doesn't feel like a whole lot. I'm going to try to see if I can find something really bright. Maybe right over here. Let's see if I can get in. Okay, so here's a different angle of the batteries in the truck bed. And it looks like here looks especially warm. Oh yeah, now that one I can actually feel the temperature difference. That there is a little, it's just a little warm. Just a little bit. I mean, obviously, by comparison, the middle of the batteries like here, yeah, they're pretty cold. Let's see if we can find another spot. I mean, these guys looked like they were the warmest. Mm. Yeah, I can feel feel it, but it's not that warm. I mean, you know, we're talking like 40 degrees. That's above freezing. It's not exactly warm. Um, so again, one thing you do have to keep in mind um, with the thermal imagery is it, it's kind of like an auto iris. Uh, it is all relative. There's warm and then there's warm and there's a big difference between the two. Here's some more thermal video for you. We're under the back of the truck near the rear bumper. Um, kind of the right back corner of the truck. Uh, right there is the left rear tire, nice and warm. Of course, the, uh, the tires, they're rubbing against the road. There's friction, so they get nice and warm. Uh, the other things we're looking at, that bright spot in the center, that's the back side of the motor right there. So, of course, the motor was pushing the truck down the road, so that's, uh, that's warm, again, relatively. Now the other thing is if I back up and I angle the camera up, this big boxy thing back here, that's the motor controller. You can actually see the uh, liquid cooling on it. There's a, a hose right here and a second one right here for the liquid cooling. And that doesn't feel warm at all. Um, so really no issues with uh, heat dissipation in any way um, for the controller on here. But kind of cool the way the, the motor shows up right there. So overall, it looks like basically, yeah, the batteries are cold. It's just cold out. Um, they're not insulated. There's no heaters on them, anything like that. They are sitting on a little bit of foam, but that's not really doing a whole lot for them at all. 
Uh, this truck does actually have battery heaters. I'm hoping that when I take the battery box off the bottom, that those battery heaters are literally just sitting inside there. And when I rebuild this as lithium, I can uh, actually keep that heated battery system working stock the way that it's designed to. Uh, I was also glad to see it looks like there's no issues at all with uh, temperature control for the motor or the motor controller. I wasn't expecting that there would be, and they're liquid cooled. Um, I hope to be able to shoot another therm thermal video in the summer when we really have some heat and the issue then isn't the batteries being too cold, but too hot. And then uh, especially temperature control for the motor and the motor controller. I hope you like these videos. Please, uh, you know, subscribe, like, share, check out the blog at 300mpg.org. We're also uh, over on Patreon and would love your support there as well. Until next time, stay charged up.